Twas the day of garbage, and our man Jack Chick was pouring some liquor and pouring it thick. The graphic tea strewn round the bedroom all over, in preparation for tomorrow's hangover. He knew that he had to perform one last task before he could don his PJs and night mask. A task lay before him with mysteries flowing, the unknown rhymes and complete disregard of reasonable scansion soon to be showing. Would he be reading about slipknot and corn, adult babies and tentacle porn? Could be an ode to Shannon Doherty? The limits are endless with bad poetry. He wanted to run just as fast as he could to an isolated place in the wood, or an igloo, a mountain, the sea, or an isthmus. For this was the second night of Jack Chicksmas. Sixteen Hours of Garbage Day is empirically the worst John Hughes movie. In the room this hour, we have... Jack Chick! 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 And our artist for this hour is... Shell Game! Oh good, it's uh, I'm not the artist for this one, but uh, welcome to back to Garbage Day. It's hour 16. Uh, it is time for 50 minutes of a motherfucking death. Uh, I hope you're all ready for this, because it then you you all thought that it was actually like May 18th or 19th. Really, it's December 24th, and it's always been December 24th, and it'll always be December 24th. Uh, we have Shell Game doing the art duties. Uh, Shell Game, I'm probably going to be talking to you a lot because this is madness, uh, but, you know, don't uh, respond because this is all about punishing me for this. So I have a, a large bottle of high-proof alcohol and a beer and some water because I'm trying to be responsible here. So we're going to take the first shot, and then uh, I don't think I really need to introduce the content. I think you all know what the fuck this is about to be. So here we go. I am drinking Larceny Bourbon, FYI. It is uh, very, very tasty. Twas the night before Christmas, and on through the front, not a creature was stirring. Well, maybe a grunt. We Covenant warriors were lying in wait, imagining victory over the humans we hate. And out on the field there arose such a clatter. I peeked up from my trench to see what was the matter. A lone warthog busted out of the trees, and we were standing, dropped to our knees. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's Halo, maybe? This warthog was different, or so it did seem. Instead of a turret, it was packing a tree. On this strange tree hung all manner of lights. Their colors were many and burned ever so bright. A noise they were making, a song I could hear, and then did I see him, the reason they cheered. Up from the snow, this one did appear, the lesser two trembled, he was one to be feared. His armor was green and his visor was gold, behind it his eyes and a stare that was cold. In his hands was a weapon that was too primitive... <laughs> In his hands was a weapon that was too primitive to care, but in the hands of this human all did beware. For it wasn't the weapon that made us feel fear, it was the human who held it, the, de the demon was here. All who had fought him were slaughtered like cattle, not even the hunters could best him in battle. We begged in the trench, begged the forerunners for aid, preparing for doom that surely came our way. He leapt, and with a loud roar, he leapt into the sky, yelling, Merry Christmas to all! Now you're all gonna die! <laughs> Alright, so that one, um, I'm guessing that one, I think that was Halo? That's my guess? I don't fucking know. Um, so apparently when, uh, when the call went out to make another doc for this, uh, it was in our hands in less than 24 hours. So, uh, whoever the fuck put this together, uh... Looks like it was Girl Kisser 420 and Shell Game. I hate you both. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love you both, actually. But this one's called Gungala's Grumbles Fright Fights Santa. I don't know what that means at all. Twas the night before Christmas, and thus was my plan to keep vigil throughout the night. 
away for the fat man. The C4 was hung on the chimney with care, knowing full well St. Nick would be there. A mannequin I had placed in my bed beneath the sheets, intending to fool the old man into thinking I was asleep. When out in the air there arose such a clatter, I engaged my night vision to see what was the matter, and when what to my searching eyes should appear... A sleigh full of toys pulled by tiny reindeer. At the helm, a red-coated driver with a long... <laughs> God fucking damn it! Fuck! At the helm, a red-coated driver with a long white beard. I readied my traps as the fat man drew near. I closed shut my window and heard up on the roof the clackety-clack of each little hoof. I ducked beneath behind sandbags, got close to the ground. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. The C4 went off, sending St. Nick to the sky. I had always wanted to see a fat man fly. He hit the far wall and then fed, fell with a thwack. His toys went everywhere as a hole tore in the sack. A mistake I had made with and with with him none should trifle. From under his coat he pulled an assault rifle. Just gonna have to hold on here for a second. You too, he said, awaited my <sighs> You too, he said, awaited my arrival, so prepare yourself as we battle for survival. He spoke of others who had battled with him with... He spoke of others who had battled him this night. Each of them had waited, prepared for a fight. Thirty-eight I have bested in this night alone, from London to Hong Kong, Paris to Rome. Try as you may, I cannot be beat. You best be prepared for utter defeat. From behind the sandbags I came up to a crouch. And as he blathered on, pulled a nade from my pouch. I pulled the pin and counted to three, threw it over my bunker and into the tree. The grenade exploded as St. Nick drove through a door. Sounds of gunfire rang out. Casings littered the floor. A thousand rounds later, not a round found its mark. Outside the sun brought light over the dark. Enough is enough. I'm long overdue. I'll never finish my route if I keep fighting you. Out the window he leapt, out into the dawn. He ordered his reindeer onto the lawn. I grabbed my rifle, looked down to the sights, acquiring my target as dark turned to light. He let out a yell as he flew out of town. Merry Christmas to all and to all a Krakow. Um. I, okay. What? I don't like what was he going to Poland next? Like what? I don't, I don't, I don't know what. Um okay. Shell game looks like uh we got a like a, a Santa hat going on. That's pretty cool. Um Yeah, take a drink for every line with the wrong number of sill syllables. Uh no, we won't be doing that. That that sounds like I would get alcohol poisoning and die and I don't want to do that. I uh I like being alive, you know. It's treated me well. So, uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. It's, uh, you know, $9,500, uh, raised thus far. I'm pretty proud of you guys. Uh, good work. Uh, so, you know, to encourage you guys to donate more, I think that what you guys all need is, uh, some memes. So this is the night before memes miss by Gungala's Grumbles. Um, Lemon, I hope you're listening to this and that it makes you very angry. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all were in bed, except for myself, busy surfing the web. The stockings were hung anywhere there was space, due to the unfortunate... L due, due to the unfortunate lack of a... Due, 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 due to the unfortunate lack of a real fireplace. While all of the rest were snug in their rooms, I was busy ruffling, watching the YouTubes. Sitting at my desk, the monitor shining so bright, so many videos, it was to be a long night. When in the next room there arose such a clatter, I leaned back in my chair to see what was the matter. When what to the my wandering eyes that should I see, a fat man in red crouched by our tree. I rose from my chair like a ninja in the night and opened a closet which was off to the right. A flashlight and taser the closet had inside. I snuck up on the man till I was directly behind. I zapped the poor fool and turned on the light. Yeah, okay. He yelled, don't tase me, bro, as he trembled in fright. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How fucking old is this? 2011. Okay, that makes it more acceptable. Yeah. With a cough and a sputter, he fell to the ground. It was actually quite humorous to watch him flailing around. Straining to speak, he said, 
I beg of you, don't stop this craziness before I is pwned. I'm assuming that's that's the rhyme there. I His grammar was broken entirely terrible. A voice like Microsoft Sam. It was almost unbearable. Where's my beer? That's better. I released the trigger and he jumped to his feet. Hold on, he said. This I must tweet. And he got a bunch of clap back. He pulled out his phone and started to type. Got tased again, I That's ta 12 one tonight. I stared on in wonder, and once he was through, he said, I'ma let you finish, but who are you? I is St. Nick, he said, without missing a beat, as he reached for his bag, which lay at his feet. I gives you te gifts as long as you're good. Now stand back and watch like a good newbie would. With a chorus of trollolo, he opened his bag and filled up our stockings till they started to sag. Gadgets and gizmos, he filled them all whole, except for the one which he filled up with coal. This child like twilight, he said with a scowl. That ought to teach him, and he spun back around. He made his way to the tree. Okay. He made his way to the tree and dropped his bag. He, he made his way to the tree, dropped his bag to the floor, saying, that's all for the stockings, but wait, there is more. With both of his hands, he reached into the sack. He pulled box after box and placed all in the sack stack. I heard you lake mudkips, he said with a smile. It's 11 minutes in. I'm taking a second shot. This is fucking... I hate you guys. <laughs> hate you guys so much. <sighs> I stared in amazement. They never would have fit. His bag of his seemed like a bottomless pit. He wrapped up his bag and then started to eat. The milk and the cookies saying, la 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 sweets! Om nom 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 nom, he said as he scarfed them all down. And when they were gone, he started to frown. Sad face, he said, as he made for the door. Okay, okay, aside here. Has anybody else ever met somebody who actually used sad face as, like, a just thing they said? Because, like, I have. And, like, I like this person, but, like, like that's just fucking infuriating. Like, they say that, and you're just like, stop, dude. Like, really? Just, just no. Anyways. Sad face, he said, as he made for the door. But maybe ten neighbors might have some more. <gasps> On his way out the door, he turned in the frame. Merry Christmas to all. You all lost the game! All right, that one's, that one's done. Uh, I'm reading the title of the next one. It's time to take a break. So let's, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we got to... Re <laughs> I Oh, I see. Everybody's commenting about losing the game. That's, uh, okay. <laughs> Chat is upset about losing the game. Um, uh, shell game, it looks like you're doing, like, some hangman thing there. Uh, that's, that's my guess. I don't, I don't, the barfing computer is, is, is cool. I'm into that. Uh, yeah, Sherman, I did just die. That's, that, that did happen. Uh, yeah, no breaks. Yeah, you can you can fuck right off. <laughs> uh, here here's a little tantalizer for the next one. Um, uh, uh, blank belongs to the Nords. This is a very good, very good bourbon. Highly recommend it. <laughs> see, I can see it coming into the chat there. And uh and Craticus, you're saying the night before Skyrim, and that's just not really correct because it's the night before Skyrim's miss. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a sound could be heard save the roar of my shouts. The rest of the family were all snug in their beds while I was slaying dragons in the land of Skyrim. Okay. All right, so that's Beds in Skyrim. That's just off to a fantastic start. I climbed every mountain and wandered the plains. In every city, the townsfolk whispered by name. The dragonborn they uttered, some in awe, some in fear. All eyes did follow whenever I drew near. 
From Solitude to Riften, Dawn started a white run. I'd been playing for hours and was having all sorts of fun. I'd fought Draugr's, Falmer, and all manners of beasts. I visited numerous castle and in castles and enjoyed many great feasts. You know, those interactive feasts that happen in, in Skyrim. Um, to the plains outside White Run, I, White Run, I had wandered one night, and to my amazement, I saw quite a sight. I encountered a glitch, or perhaps it was a feature. In all of my travels, I'd never encountered such a creature. He wasn't a Breton or Khajiit, Dunmer or Nord. Okay. He wasn't a Breton or Khajiit. No, okay. How do I make this fit? Da, 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 da. He wasn't a Breton or Khajiit, Dunmer or Nord. I'm doing the best I can, guys. <laughs> He wore neither helmet nor armor, carried no sword. As I drew near the man, I pulled out my bow. Whether he was hostile or not, I couldn't have known. He wore a large red coat and a matching fur hat. He waddled when he walked, for he was also quite fat. His clothes were quite dirty, covered in ashes and soot. His entire body was covered from his head to his foot. In a flash, he turned round and beelined for me. Fearing for my life, I gave him an arrow to the knee. God fucking damn it! Fuck! <sighs> he fell to the ground, grabbing at the wound. Stay thy hand, he said. Please, I beg you. Cautiously, I pushed him and gave him a potion of healing. Blah, he said as he drank it. The taste is not at all appealing. He rose to his feet once the wound had been healed. Please, he said, let me tell you of my ordeal. Yeah, I see people are excited about that foodie meme there with the, the arrow to the knee. It's uh, some classic ass shit. Is it 20 or 11 in here, or is it just this dock? I have come to this land at the most op inopportune time, for this land seems terribly troubled, and now so am I. There's a rebellion underway, and dragons soar in the skies. Both the dragons and guards attack anything that flies. He pointed behind him to a nearby hill. G dude, you had so many fucking syllables in every goddamn line, and then this one has, like, four. What? Ah, this isn't hard. Do they... Like, do these people just not revise these? Do they not read them aloud? Like, I don't... Why? Why? Why are they completely unable to make Scansion work? He pointed behind him to a nearby hill. Upon it were the corpses of reindeer all freshly... You know, just take the syllables out of the first line, just cram them all in the second line. Just works out. Same number of total syllables. I started with nine I started with nine reindeer when I took off from home. Now there's nothing left but a pile of scorched bones. The guards took shots at me when I drew near the town. Then the dragon swooped in and ran me into the ground. They set fire to my reindeer before they could flee, then gobbled them up and picked their bones clean. I asked you for help, he said. I must be off on I okay. I ask you for I ask for your help, he said. I must op, I'm uh, I ask for your help, he said. I must be off on my way. If I don't continue my work, many children will be dismayed. I have a sleigh full of toys and must deliver them all tonight. I have other lands to go to and must done by the first light. I stood there bemused by the account of his plight, as he and his sleigh were a most interesting sight. I have an idea, I told him, although you might not approve. Only one creature can help you, and this is neither antlers nor hoofs. He looked at me bewildered, and he figured it out. His cries of disagreement were drowned out by my shout. For a moment, there was silence, and there nothing to see or to hear then a roar could be heard as oh 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 dov oh then a roar could be heard as odoving drew near okay i think i got that oh odoving the fat man dropped to the ground as the dragon circled overhead are you mad he explained now we're as good as dead but the dragon was not hostile and soared down to the surface i have answered your summons he said how can i be of service This man needs our help, I said, as the man... <laughs> This man needs our help, I said, as the man cautiously stood. Well, y yes, he stammered. I re require y your assistance, if you w would, ellipsis. Odaving stared intently at the man, who in turn stared straight at the ground. I w would most appreciate it, he stuttered, if you you'd help me m make my rounds. Odaving laughed vigorously, giving the man quite a start. If this is your wish, Dovahkiin, he said, then I'll do my part. 
You not mean you need not fear this dragon. I said to the man, he'll bring you no harm. He'll pull your sleigh tonight, taking you to every city, every town, every farm. All right, we're gonna try and cram that in the night before Christmas scansion. This is this is the greatest challenge I've ever faced in my whole life. You need not fear this dragon, I said to the man, he'll bring you no harm. He'll pull your sleigh tonight, taking you to every city, every town, every farm. <laughs> that actually wasn't the dragon. Say everything as fast as good all right done next the man sighed with relief gave the dragon a bow you have my thanks adventurer now i can finish my rounds he placed a harness on the dragon <laughs> thank you shell game <laughs> now i can finish my rounds he placed a harness on the dragon and hopped on to, into the sleigh and with a flap of oda ving's way wing oda <laughs> with a flap of oda ving's wings they were well on their way i paused the game and laughed at my scream could that have actually happened or was it only a dream Search through the forums, the wiki, the guide. Was it at all possible I was out of my mind? Unpausing, I watched as they flew into the night. The lay's outline silhouetted by the moon's full light. Then the man turned in his seat and shouted with a grin, A very Merry Christmas to all in the land of Todd Howard. <sighs> this is... This is... Yeah, this is not, not, all of this is bad. What, what, this one is short, what is this? This site has painstakingly archived hundreds of Night Before Christmas parodies from all sorts of early internet community. The, check it out, there's enough here for five docs, depending on how funny the idea of a Ross Perot Night Before Christmas parody. Um, I, I'm gonna go with not at all. Just, just, just no. So let's check in with the chat. That sounds more fun than reading awful Night Before Christmas parodies. <laughs> this is a rough hour. I agree. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Charm wants more Rossboro. <laughs> I mean, I do too. Man, this is the night before fuckness uh, from Monster Girls Unlimited. Oh, God. Oh, okay, maybe if I do this one really fast, it'll be over quickly. Twas the night before fuckness when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a large mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and the hope St. Nicoletta would soon be there. The children were nestled, though slug in their beds, while vision of wild sex scenes danced in their. Oh. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away from the Christmas, I flew out the flat. I just said that sentence I said entirely wrong. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering, I should appear but a miniature sleigh with eight horny sen- What? <laughs> but a miniature sleigh and eight horny centaur here. <laughs> it's like you can tell the lines that they changed exactly. Mm, excuse me. With a little sexy driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. That would be N-I-C. Um, stands for a Network Interface Card. It's, um, it's a thing that allows you to, you know, have your computer talk to the internet. More rapid than eagles, her coursers they came, and she whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Thunder, and Blixen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Something, something, with a sweat goes down my balls uh, <laughs> to the top of the porch to the top of the wall now dash away dash away dash away all as dry leaves that uh, as dry leaves that before wild hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky so up to the house top the coursers they flew with a sleigh tool of toys and saint nicoletta too and then in the twinkling i heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof i threw in my head and was turning around and the chimney saint nicoletta built came with a bound. She was dressed in all fur from her head to her foot, and her clothes were all tarnished from ashes and soot. A bundle of toys she had flung on her back, and she looked like a peddler opening her pack. Her eyes, how they glowed! Her dimples, how merry! Her cheeks were like roses, her nose like a cherry. Her droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and her skin was as white as the snow. On top of her pipe, she held tight in her teeth, and the smoke had encircled her head like a wreath. She had a broad face and two boots. <laughs> 
<laughs> she had a broad face and two big boobs so jolly that shook when she laughed like a bowl full of jelly. She was so skinny and sexy, a right jolly older... What? Is this a real word? I don't actually know. Holy shit. Okay, okay. So the word is 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 Lilin, and it's apparently a a, a hostile night spirit in Mesota Mesopotamian demonology, uh, or something from something from Shin Megami Tensei. So I'm gonna go with the latter there, because that would be oh god, oh no, oh no, because this is Monster Girl shit. Yeah, oh god. Okay. Yeah, so you can go and find out about that on Monster Girl Wiki. All right. All right, all right, all right. Where am I? Where's my beer? Okay, where was I? She was skinny and sexy, a right jolly old older Lilim. And I got a boner when I saw her in spite of my wife, the Lilim. And, and I got a boner when I saw her in spite of my wife, the Lilim. Is oh okay that so that was the couplet to the other okay sorry I lost my place I'm sorry I'm a professional I should do this better uh, a wink of her eye and a twist of her head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread she spoke not a word but went straight to her work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of her nose and giving him nod up the chimney she rose and sprang to her sleigh her te her team gave a whistle and away they flew all that flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, exclaim as she drove out of sight, Merry fuckmas to all, and to all a good night. That one was basically just the poem, but, like, a couple things changed to, like, ruin it, I guess. Um, so, you know, it could have been worse. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, okay, great, so that's good. Um, so what's this next one? Christmas clowns from famousclowns.org. Uh, hey, chat, do we want to do clowns? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm sorry that, um, I'm sorry that, you know, the F plus stole from extra credit, the podcast that, what do you guys do again? Wasn't it like you guys just do shit we don't do, I guess? All right, uh, I have no choice. I have a choice. <laughs> I can ship. I can. I can skip to the goddamn libertarian politics night before Christmas. But no, we're doing clowns, motherfuckers. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through our towns, the birthday king has summoned his clowns. Clowns to bring joy in the midst of the night. Clowns to share happiness with ch for children's delight. With strange colored hair and size 17 shoes. With pants so baggy and red noses too. Pockets stuffed with balloons for bear's dog and sword. Happy birthday we sing with tricks to the lord. We juggle, we face paint, make puppets to dance. For love and perfection we take every chance. Christmas trees and mangers. Why is main... Okay, no. Google Docs does not like the word mangers. Toys and clown cars. With slapstack and stickers, we follow the stars. With gifts of treasure wrapped in flash paper and a bowie, the darkness gives way to a soft Christmas glowy. Uh, the parade passes by, and with our jokes walk about, sadness and sickness we now turn about. For the father has proclaimed, as we clowns come to play, Merry Christmas to all and my son, Ellipsis. Happy birthday. And Cap Christmas sounds sounds fantastic. All right, what do you guys think, chat? Should I do another shot? Or are you ready for politics? Sounds like we're in in on politics. All right, so so I know we've been in twenty eleven land, but like but like some of us must remember. Some of us must be keeping the flame burning for two thousand three. Right, two thousand three, great year. Um, I'm 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 trying to remember. New metal was still like kind of on its way out at that point, which was good. Um, so you know, I'm I'm in favor that year. 
So this one is called Twas Politics 2003 Bush Criticism.txt. Also, Shell Game, I love you. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the country, all the people were jobless, broken, hungry. Widows and orphan lay awake in her beds. Bush promised bin Laden, but got Saddam for his daddy instead. The solidaires fought with with honor and stood troll. <laughs> Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. This shot, this one right here, this one's for the soliders. Oh god, I didn't even get all that in my mouth. All right. The soliders fought with honor and stood tall and proud, and Bush pretended to be one of them as he spoke real loud. He wore his flight suit and pretended to serve turkey, but all the chirks, but all the troops got were some lies and bull jerky. When the dust settled and dead women and children were cleared, Bush promised us more, and Osama scratched his beard. Now our money's all spent in Iraq, and we're again in Al Qaeda's sights. And the Republican oil will flow as the innocent still die. All right, well that was kind of a bummer. That was, uh, yeah, and that was that was. That was 2003 is the hound of is is the height of fountains of Wayne and uh and soldier boy great um I I agree with you El Patina the best dark souls ending is in 2 because dark souls 2 is the best dark souls So this one's the libertarian night before christmas so yeah this will be I, this won't piss anybody off I'm sure <laughs> you know because because libertarian politics are just too real yeah, gross. Uh, that was earlier in the podcast, I think. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the land, libertarians dreamed of the ideals of Rothbard, Hayek, and Ram. Good, we're off to some fantastic scansion. Enchanted by this glorious vision of liberty, many yearn for better ways to help their neighbors see the great benefits that would come if only they had embrace a philosophy of freedom for all, whatever country or race. At our home, the stockings and decorations were up. We'd left Santa some cookies and some milk in a cup. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while vision of liberty danced in their heads. I in my advocate's t-shirt, mom in her self-governor's cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When outside the window there arose such a clatter that I leapt from my bed to see what was the matter. There through the window I saw an amazing sight that any other time of year would have given me a fright. A sleigh pulled by reindeer flashing through the sky so quick and led by no less than jolly old St. Nick as he roared through the air heading straight for my abode. Ah! I saw the sled was groaning with a tremendous load of packages, treats, tr packages, treasures, treats, and toys, gifts for all good men, women, girls, and boys. More rapid than a jet, right toward me they came, and I hold old St. Nick call each reindeer by name. Now tolerance, now free enterprise. <laughs> oh god. Okay. All right, we got this. We got this. Okay. Now tolerance, now free enterprise, now liberty. Onward, peace and free speech and prosperity. <laughs> He kept calling their names in that manner, and twas thus. <laughs> I see the libertarians have the same grasp on uh, Night Before Christmas scansion as they do on economics. I realized with a start, hey, Santa's one of us. Us is uh, capitalized as a proper noun. Just to... I always admired this very special man. Santa, you're so special. You got just got something special. You know, it's like. You're just really special. Who flew around the world without posting an FAA flight plan. <laughs> Who crossed national borders with impunity each year and never registered his team with the Depart U.S. Department of Reindeer. Who laughed at licenses and permits and just made his own route and ran a safe, clean, happy workshop far from OSHA's obnoxious snout who lived. Independent and government-free at the icy North Pole, far away from... Taxes, regulations, and the dole. Oh, it looks like the chat isn't happy about this. You can all fuck yourselves. 
<laughs> so I tipped down downstairs to peep into the den and try to steal a sight of that jolly old gentleman who had brought such joy to millions in so many lands. Oh, to see him in action, alive, firsthand. I heard the sleigh touchdown lightly upon the roof. Strange noises from the chimney came. Then, poof. There was Santa standing boldly beside our Christmas tree, bigger than life in red and white, an awesome sight to see. He took a bite of our cookies and said, Hey, what's the price on these? Oh, wait, no, no. Hmm, not bad. Then wrote a quick note of thanks to our youngest lad, and reached down into the bulging bag at his side, and talked aloud as he brought out what was stuffed inside. Here's a new computer for Johnny, and it's all set to take him to the Advocate's website page on the internet, where he can also subscribe for free to the Liberator Online, the Advocate's email bi-weekly. Sally wants to leech libertarians in her hometown, so I've brought her the best outreach tool around. Operation Politically Homeless will do the trick. She'll find hundreds of new libertarians, chuckled jolly old St. Nick. St. Nick then acknowledged that uh, actually there were no women in the Libertarian Party, and that was kind of one of their big shame. Then he pulled out a vast supply of pocket-sized cards, and could, I could guess what they were without trying too hard. Here's a few thousand of the world's, world's smallest political quiz, too, that should last them for at least a month or two. This family wants to communicate the ideas of freedom clearly, so here are two fine tape sets with which they will treasure dearly. The communication power pack and the essence of political persuasion will make them master communicators no matter the occasion. From oh, sorry, sorry, I, I improved the poem. I apologize. Will make them master communicators no matter what the occasion. From his bag, he brought forth still more great surprises libertarian t shirts and sweatshirts in all different sizes, all festooned with neat slogans. There were books galore, hyphen, hyphen, libertarian in one lesson. Li libertarianism in one lesson, the law, and many more. Now our living room seemed filled to overflowing, but Santa still kept on going and going. He scattered audio tapes by the dozen in every empty spot. There are so many great advocates tapes. They look, they'll like these, they'll like all these a lot. Sorry, sorry. They'll like all these a lot. He was bringing out still more goodies, but I could stand it no more so. I stepped out from hiding and stood by the door. He smiled at me and winked, and I knew instantly he'd known I'd been there throughout his gift-giving spree. I just wanted to thank you, hyphen hyphen, I began to say. But he held up his hand and smiled in his jolly way. There's no need for thanks. It's a great pleasure to me to charge you for gifts for people who care so much about liberty. Please pay me $7 million for what I've given you. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Talk about that business. Oh, God, this fucking keeps going, going. Fuck! Okay, 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 okay. To give gifts to people who care so much about liberty. The advocates have made it easy for me and my elves. In fact, we hardly have to do any work ourselves. For people who want to see our world free, the advocates have just the poor products, tools, and services I need. If you want to thank me, the best thing you can do is to support the advocates, dash, dash, and put these great tools to work for you. Oh, there's one thing more I want to leave here, dash, dash. Keep this advocates catalog handy so you can order throughout the year. I wanted to say more, but he put his finger to his nose. Then... Dash, dash, poof! Straight up the chimney, he rose. I went to my window and saw the sleigh rise to the sky, and as they faded away, I heard Santa cry. I need more. You all wanted this. On free speech, on tolerance, on liberty, our world is yearning to be set free. One day all will see freedom's bright shining light. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Happy Holidays from the Advocates! So that was... that was great. Hey look, I only have 10 minutes left. That's exciting. Uh, okay. Um... Read Crypto Poem. I don't want to read Crypto Poem. You read Crypto Poem. <sighs> Guys, I really don't want to read the next one. Like, I really don't. So we're going to skip it and read the... Really? Really? 
The next two are fucking sex bonded shit? God damn it. Oh, all right. I'm not reading Skyrim one again. There are no metal ones. It all sucks. It's all trash. Everything is the worst. Where's the soundboard? Do I have an umbop? I don't even have an umbop. You guys suck. You don't need to give me any uh, fucking umbop. Oh, female. See, I got the female that's on the soundboard. Oh, that's good. All right. All right, all right. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the pad, everyone was fucking, and no one was sad. All right, it's shot. I love you, whoever did that. I like feeling like I'm not alone in the world, but I'm alone in the world. Once again, this podcast is brought to you by uh, Larceny Bourbon. Larceny Bourbon. Oh, God. All right. All the dicks were covered with care, with an, with hope a new tax deduction in nine months won't be there. What? There was Cousin Joe with Wife Bess. What they did, I can't guess. There was Big Pete and his sister Kate with a two-headed kid they were told not to mate. And Ma with her strap on and I with some cream with just started trying to get my butt ream. Do I have to keep going? Do I really? Like, like, I'm a good guy. I pay my taxes. Like, why, why is this my life? The noises were many. The complaints, they were few. And Santa came down. I had to ask. Who knew? He blew down the chimney. I came into my room. I said, what do you want, your red-clothed buffoon? And he looked at my speechless. He took hold of my strap. He said, what's going on here? What is all this crap? And after wiping his hand off, he stood there with awe. He could not believe everything that he saw. With Ma and her garter and me and blue silk, he said this sure is different than cookies and milk. Got his camera and put on his flash and proceeded to snap pictures. I can sell these for cash. Excuse me. As things got hotter, Santa started to sweat. He took off his red suit to see what he'd get. His dick, it was tiny, just like his reindeer. <laughs> what? What? Like, what? I don't, okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. He said, I don't give it a thought once I get it in gear. Then he... He then porked Ma. <laughs> really? This is my life. This is this is my life. I'm I'm drunk reading a thing about porking Ma from Santa. That's great. This is, my life has gone in all of the correct directions, I feel. Then he he then porked Ma and look, went looking for more. When he got through me, it was I ever sore. He said it was Rudolph that gave him his speed and Donner and Blitzen that satisfy his need. But this is far better, he said with a grim. Give me w young women, I'll give you more kin. The two-headed kid set him back for a sec, but finding an opening, he said, what the heck? He took Fanny and Babs. He took Carlos as well. When he came up for air, he sure looked like hell. There was Brooke and Aunt Maud and Cousin Fred and the twins. He screwed Rover and Peaches. He sucked on her nins. He then said, I'm hungry. What can I eat? When Fred came in, Santa sucked on his meat. The reindeer were at the windows looking in with despair when they saw Santa Claus running around bare. He as Cupid said to the others, this is the eighth time this eve. If we don't get him out of here, it'll really be... Piaved. All of a sudden, with a rush and a roar, the reindeer were backward. They broke in the door. The reindeer, they came in. Some elves came in, too. I looked at them with interest, though my dick had turned blue. He wiped off his dick and proceeded to rest. He said, I sure had a good time, but my balls are a mess. Some say this is a theory. Others say it's not true, but I'm the one who is there. Say, wasn't that you? All right, this one won't be gross at all. It's called Twas Sexual Bondage 2.txt. Bet y'all haven't heard this one yet. Emoticon Rottleful Mow exclamation point. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature is stirring, not a man nor a mouse. The slaves on their collar on the hooks with the hall. The hopes of their master would clay them a call. Submissives were snuggled all snug in their beds. Well, vision of chastisement danced in their heads. Well, some settled in for a long winter's nap. I tried self-bondage with red saran wrap. He's completely wrapped up in cling film.
When out in the hall there arose such a clatter, I tried to escape and see what was the matter. Pocket knife and scissors were just out of reach, and I felt like a whale washed up in the beach, fell off the bed and then onto the floor. When I heard the soft creeping of my bedroom door, mummified helpless, I suffered to fear, along under large boots, drawing ever so near. And the new glove hand caressed me and brought me such a calm. I knew in my moment it must be my Tom. But in moments he had tied me fast to my bed with my butt in the air and a hood on my head and then flogger, then paddled, then strapped, then caned, clothespins and lead weights, hot wax and cold chains. From the top of my head to the tip of my toes, my flesh tongue and tingled and reddened by two rows. I heard the wind whistle, the bullwhip let fly. Oh, it was all I could do to stifle a cry. And just when I thought I could take it no more, he stopped. What's well, quiet? Oh, what was in store? And then twinkling, I heard his warm voice. My safe word unneeded. He, whoa. Okay, okay. Break here, guys. Don't fucking ignore the safe word. Like, never do that. You're like, you're a shitty dom if you do that, okay? Just don't fucking do it, okay? My safe word unneeded, he stopped at his choice. He untied my huns and turned me around, turned off my blindfold, and I was unbound. He dressed all in black from his gloves to his shoes, and he gave me that look I can never refuse. A bundle of toys had been stuffed in his pack to bind me and beat me a Christmas Eve snack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His smile was seductive and a little bit scary. His necks had me hogtied, drawn up like a bow, and he clamps on my nipples to add the... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, put, and put clamps on my nipples to add D to my woe. <laughs> Jack Jack's BDSM safety error. You know, like, I feel like there's a lot of people who fucking do body drawing, and, like, that sucks. Like, like, seriously. Okay. With a sharp spring of holly trapped clenched tight in my teeth, he adorned me to look like a bright Christmas wreath. He dumped out his bag, a shower of things, from dildos to talons to harsh nipple rings. There was extension cord dead in my sights. It wasn't for plugging in Christmas tree lights. A wink of his eye and a nod of his head. Soon to me, no, I had nothing to dread. He smoked not a word, but went straight to his work. He cured all the bindings, tight and ripe to his work. Uh, blah, 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 sorry, tightened ropes with a jerk. And then a cool smile crossed over his bright lips and he admired his work with his hand on his hips. Guys, I'm I'm very, like, I'm, I'm pretty drunk. I don't know if you know. He packed up his things and moved to the door. Was he planning to leave me? Would he come back for more? I heard him exclaim as he poked out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Okay, I'm at the last one in the dock. I made it. 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 Oh my god, it's the last one. Party! Bless you, whoever did that. Okay. You know, I'm not going to say that I'm a sub of the of the F+, plus, but, I mean, I might be the sub of the F+. Plus. Like, you guys have met, you, you guys have met Bunny Bread, right? So I know what you're thinking, like, hey, we've gotten through all of the worst stuff. It couldn't be Clowns or Skyrim next, right? I know, dead air is the best, best thing. Party! Party! What is the tag alone? So it's time for the for the twas zepmus let zeppelin zeppelin dot txt. Twas the night before zepmus went all through the cottage. The zeppelin was blaring at voluminous wattage. Fuck. Yeah, you're not wrong. The stockings were hung with in our britches with care in the hopes of the chicks will think there's something there. The guitars were nestled all snug in their stands because too much practicing had cost them sore hands. The mama and her nighty and I and my thong, the kids were at grandma's, what could go wrong? When out of the lawn there were roasted to clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flasher. Oops, better close up the road, you, rub, you big basher. The moon on the breath, hey, <laughs> breast wing me sticker, gave the luster of midday to my Zep bumper sticker. Fuck! What, what, to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature Zeppelin and a guy with a beer, he had some backpacks with three circles on him, and in movement I know it must be St. Bonham. More rapid than eagles, the sled dogs, they came. Oh, hey, look, it's, it's 1249. I should be done with this, right? Uh... And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Bonzo on Rainsong, on Levy, on Moby, on Dixon, on Gallows, on Hergie and Gertie. 
to the drop of the porch, to the top of the wall, while the sweat drips down my balls. Now dash away, dash away, careful, don't fall. Australia's that way, that before wild hurricane fly. When they meet with New Orleans, mount to the sky, so up to the house talk, the sled dogs, they flew with the paps of doot legs and the uh, St. Autumn too. And then in the spring, like the sled dogs they heard, they not only sprinkled, they also left turds. And then drew it, as they drew in my hand, I reached for my gun down the chimney, St. Bonham came like a hunt. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his toes and his clothes all tarnished with asses and boost. A bundle of third eyes he'd flung on his pack and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, dash, dash, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses he'd been drinking, sherry. On top of his head, he wore a droog bowler. And his beard was quite sweaty from a long drum solo. The stump of the drug sip he held tight in his fist. He'd been trying to hit symbols he must not have missed. He had a broad face tattooed on his belly that squinched when he laughed like he thought he was smelly. His his chubby his chubby was plump. I couldn't help see, and I laughed. It was huge compared to me. And a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know he was hip to the lead. He smoked not a word, seems he doesn't like pros. He filled all of the stockings, but not with his hose, and laying his finger aside of his nose, giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. Okay. He sprang to his zeppelin, to his team, gave a holler, and away they flew. I wanted to fall her. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove it aside, happy zepness to all, and to all a good night. Okay. This doc is fucking done. I fucking defeated it. You all fucking... Bow to me. Whoever the fuck can turn the stream off, turn the stream off. I don't know how to do it. Yay!